have occurred. I almost forgot whose reading this was. I don't want my eyes there. I don't want my eyes out. <sighs> look into my eyes. No, look into Catfish Billy's eyes. Wow. That's my boy. That's my boy, Green. Um. <clears throat> okay. What are we going to talk about today, Capricorn? There's some fucking weird energy going on today. I just found out some like amazing news. Hopefully it works out. You never know. Just making sure nothing's hanging out of my nose. It felt like it was. There might be an extremely selfish person around you. I'm getting somebody very selfish singing in my head who seems to think everything's always about her. I hate female singers, by the way. If you are on the top 40 list, you are not somebody that I look at. I don't listen to brainwashing music. And this girl just seems to think everything's about her. So she starts singing in my head right before a reading. And she deserves to be in hell. And everybody adores her, which I find hilarious. Do a background check on people you like, okay? That's all I have to say. Even if they're celebrities, it doesn't fucking matter. They could still be mad evil. I mean, majority of them are, and everyone's obsessed with them. Like, you know that they have little rooms with kids in them, right? Behind walls, and they talk about it. So, you want to be in Hollywood, good for you. Go kill kids on your own. Um, okay. So, we got Mask and Clock. Clock was the first one. Okay, um, and then mask. So I feel like, yeah, somebody's mask is up, which is why I just talk shit about Hollywood. Like, you don't actually think that people don't really know what you guys do <laughs> to get famous. You do voodoo spells and bullshit. <laughs> you put charms on everything you do so then you can get famous. Like, honestly, you don't think, like, if you just use natural energy, none of them would be anywhere. They would all have 400 subscribers like me because I don't use my magic to perform duties, okay? I use my magic for my own natural talents. Um, <clears throat> oh, that edged me. I hate when people just start singing in my head that I hate, especially a singer who knows I hate them because I told them numerous times to leave me alone and they still sing because everybody adores them. Like, I don't care who likes you. If everybody likes you, guaranteed I don't because I'm that one bitch who won't like the whole, like, I'm that one in the crowd. Everybody will flock to this one person. I'll walk the other way. Because if that many people are attracted to one person, I'll most likely go the other way. I'll take the person who's got nobody around them. Oh, I get so vexed sometimes with these readings. I swear it's because anybody can watch them, you know, and you're so vulnerable to the public and how stupid the public really fucking is. Oh, it drives me nuts. My sh my, I'm like shaking right now. So I'm just, oh, that fucking stupid woman pisses me off and she sings in my head. And like this person, someone's wearing a mask. So that's why I'm getting pissed off because you're getting gaslighted by somebody because somebody wants to be on a stage. Somebody wants to be the center of attention. And the thing is, is that who the fuck, like, I mean, honestly, who has to be the center of attention all the time other than somebody who's so mentally fucked, okay? Like, honestly, anybody that needs that much attention, I mean, fuck, even Celine Dion knows when to sit down. Okay, like, so this person, that's why I've got mirror in, in this way, because somebody's gaslighting you because they want the center stage. They want all the attention to go to them because they're so deprived of love and, and support. And I was massively manipulated as a child, so I'm going to manipulate as an adult and I'm going to play all these people like I'm some soap opera queen and they're going to believe me because I know how to act good. Like, you realize actors get awards for lying? Okay, they're lying. They're acting. They get awards. But you can tell the truth, and people throw a snowball at your face or fucking kick you out of the family. Like, I watched my stepmom cry over shows. Same with my mother. I told them I was molested. They threw me out of the family 
but they cried over Grey's Anatomy that night. Really? That makes you a woman? A mother? You're not a mother because you can cry over a fucking soap opera show. Ugh, what is going on with this reading? I'm so glad that, like, the energy can just come through me, but I don't hold on to it. I have to say it. Say it, not spray it. <laughs> we want the news, not the weather. Okay. See, I can get myself out of it because it's really not me that's angry. It's just what people do. It angers me. <sighs> I'm not angry. I never get mad. Like, you and my sister, we never get mad at, like, anything. Like, we get frustrated and, like, upset. Like, anger is for children because they don't quite know how to temper themselves, right? Anger is not for adults. Anger is for children who are still trying to learn their emotions. <laughs> like, really? I mean, come on, guys. So just think about it. Really think about it. Anger gets you nowhere. Gets you in jail. Or, like, like regular jail or spiritual jail. Because, like, who knows? Is it finally showing me? Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. There we go. Smoke a little weed. Now I can hear yellow wolf rapping. That's my frequency. See? I don't listen to stupid female fucking singers, okay? Like, don't don't get me wrong. Actually, there's not a lot of female singers I like out there. Sorry. It's my own species. Actually, that would just be human in general. But. Okay. <coughs> okay, so. Yes, these are the best. My cards are the best. If you're a tarot reader, design your own cards. Design your own crew. That's what I was going to say. Get your own crew, you know. Oh, yes is on the bottom. I can never deny this yes, okay? Like, yes, somebody is, they have to reveal their true feelings now. Okay, um, and, and I don't even think it's they have to reveal anything. I think the universe now has to acknowledge that you are here. Okay, and that this person, okay, who um, hates you, okay, they might appear to people like they like you, right? Oh, they're, they've been my friend for 20 years. I adore them. I love them. Oh, they're my stepson. Of course I love them. Like, you know that? Like that always saying that they love you, but then they ain't never shown it. But then you say something to them and then they get pissed off. Well, I love you. Okay, why are you snarling at me when you say that, right? Like, I don't think you're supposed to be quite possessed when you tell me that you care about me. Like, <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Barely even had to, ooh, oh. Okay, actually, this is pretty good. This is pretty good because we've got 911. So this is an emergency, okay? Somebody has just decided that you don't exist. They just, they just masked you. They just said, you know what? You don't have to be here. So we're just going to all pretend that you're not. And you went over my dead body. I'll fight your fucking ass until the end because people are crazy. And sometimes... Those delusional, entitled motherfuckers have to figure out just how crazy people can be, okay? Because, see, not everybody likes to hide everything, right? Some people are like me, and they just stop giving a fuck, and they just start telling everybody. Because why hide in the dark, in the shadows, like a shark lurking for a victim, when you can just be like, hey, by the way, I'm fucked up. I'm a little hot and heated because I wasn't really raised right. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, my, these people in my life have been gaslighting me and I've been, you know, trying to uh, appear in the world and they just keep tucking me under and going, no, 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 it's not, it's not your time yet. Wait. I do not like being told to wait. Because my patience level 
um, is next to a fucking monk, okay? So when some ignorant, entitled little biatch walks up to me, like Beyonce singing in my head and goes, no, 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 you can wait for your reading. I have to sing in your head. I go, hmm, no. And I walk up to her. Oh, what's the gun I want to buy? I don't think you can talk about guns on the internet. But anyways, I, talk, I walk up with the revolver that I have pictured in my mind that I buy, because in Canada you can't buy guns. Um, and I put it to her forehead and I pull the trigger and then I start the reading. Because nobody is going to stop me from doing what I need to do. Because I've waited long enough. And I have to wait for the internet. And I have to wait for my phone to charge. And I have to wait for the energy to come in. I have to wait all the time. So when some ignorant motherfucker pushes in when I've already been waiting, and they say, you can have patience. You see, this starts to come out. Because when people tell you to back up, and push your buttons and then push them a little bit more and then oh yeah by the way you can just push his buttons he's fine he's been told not to react um okay for sanity purposes i'm gonna have to back up or insane purposes are gonna come out right like they they push you and actually i was watching this uh reading today and this woman was talking about how back in the day during slavery, um, if slaves escaped their captors, right, and ran away and they were ever caught, they were actually um, told to see a shrink. So like a shrink would come, a head shrink would come and talk to them and ask them why they felt like their freedom was necessary. Like what was wrong with them psychologically for thinking that they wanted their own freedom instead of being some fat, entitled white man slave. Really? You're going to put a shrink in front of me? And they did this psychological profiling as well on, I believe, the Vietnam vets that came back. And they, the, a lot of them were having post-traumatic stress, which is what comes with war. And um, these psychologists who were evaluating them, because they, a lot of them were in extreme pain because they had limbs blown off and et cetera, et cetera. You know, they were shot, bombed. And these, these hospitals and, and doctors were convinced that it was all in their head. And they were saying, like, have you been with a woman recently? Do you have sex enough? As if having sex has anything to do with the fucking limb that's been blown off. Right? It's that people can fucking fuck with you. And they can make it seem like with their egotistical and obnoxious questions... And then suddenly you feel like the psycho, right? When that's not the way it's supposed to work. And I love that like majority of like science and men versus feminine energies, right? Just get rid of the feminines and masculines, let's take over. And like, that's just not just men, like that's women and masculine energy, obviously to domino feminism and not just feminism, but female, like that's the female, the, 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 the feminine energy in you, which is in you if you're a guy and a girl, is that nurturing, supportive, grounding energy where the masculine energy is there to protect, there to um, stabilize, support, right? And the mother did the nurturing. That's how the female masculine energies work. That's why we have to have both because not everybody's born with a mom after she gives birth, like, you know, like a dad has to jump into his feminine to make sure that the child gets the right nurturing and support that they need, right? And then his masculine comes out in order to protect the family, right? Like, it's like, it's like crushing that feminine role, masking it, right? And, and, and saying that they are something when they just took it from you. It's like, excuse me, what did you just do? Like, how are you using something that you just stole from me against me? Really? What the f- Because like, it's all just to mess with you. It's all just to psychologically fuck you up. Which eventually people figure out, right? Like, it's called whistleblowers. 
right? They know what's going on. And so and like the truth is allowed to be exposed, whether or not YouTube tries to hide it or takes down a video or does whatever voodoo bullshit they want to do to hide the truth, right? It always gets out. So with this person, it's time. Like it's time. It's because you're fighting because you're never going to stop fighting. That's the thing. When, it become, when it's your life and it's somebody putting a mask over you and telling you how to be, telling you what you are, you know, just because they say that they're the mirror of you and they don't like you. So all they're trying to really do is to shut you up, right? It's kind of like, that's going to bring out a lot of hate. And you're allowed to feel hate. Surprisingly. I know people try to tell you, you know, like you're not allowed to hate. You're not allowed to feel, right? Gaslighting you, trying to control your emotions. Because that's what it is. Like, you know, you ever wonder when you're, when you're pissed off at somebody because they did something to you and then that person tells you to relax, calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for gaslighting my feelings and telling me that I'm not allowed to have them. Because they know they're guilty and they, and they don't want to feel it. They don't want to feel that guilt. So they'll push it back onto somebody else trying to get their way, right? But eventually these people pay. I mean, hate doesn't go away. Like, so if they use hate to mask you... So then, really, they can be the mirror image of you and you get to be nothing. And then, in reality, they actually hate you, but they tell people they like you. Like, I mean, manipulation is one thing. This is like... My God, this person must have been thinking... Yeah for years on how to deliver this plan out. Like, honestly, like, wow. Wow. It's, I really feel like somebody wanted you, like there's a cycle coming in. Okay, let's finish the reading. Okay, what's the cycle coming in for this person that was masked? Oh, oh, cool. Okay, so seven or eight of swords in reverse. So like, look, man, you just, you're getting out of words. There are a lot of words around you, okay? Probably kind of scaring you. Probably like not really scaring you, but like definitely intimidating you. And then look, you just start fucking... Like really? Good for you. That's what hate does. That's what hate breeds. Hate breed. <laughs> I saw them in concert. They were a lot of energy. You want to see a heavy metal band? Jeez Louise, go see hate breed. Woo! And I swear another one flipped. Okay, well, all we got is the Ace of Pentacles, which is pretty awesome. And, you know, I kind of think that this person that has um, basically stopped your clock, okay, um, I feel like a lot, a lot of what they do now is going to go into the drain, which is good. Let them spend their money on frivolous bullshit. Let them fucking think that they have to buy things in order to look cool. Let them think that they have to spend things in order to get status right like let them think that because that's just that's that's them having to blow everything by thinking that you need the new iphone 75 or you need the newest fucking what are those gravity boards or whatever that everyone's rolling around on you need the newest one you need a brand you know like that's what's gonna cost them you need this year's gucci line you know and this motherfucker they're married to is making 75 grand a year like okay like keep spending your money like a moron right but that's what you want because that's the thing is like that's what helps take all the pain away is knowing how stupid they are Right? It's like you can't let that bother you because look at their just their whole shit. Oh, when you people refuse to look at their shadow side, when they refuse to look at the bad that they're doing, they lose things like families, like money, like treasures, like seeds. Okay? And their shit gets blown apart. They get whistleblown with truth. Oh my god, look at that. Three aces defensive, stole, weighted, world, nice, okay, so your pentacle moves, okay, okay, 
And this person no longer gets their intuition because they've been using their intuition for the bad. It's like they're looking, it's like I almost feel like this person has like a black mirror, okay? And what a black mirror is, is it literally is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's this reflective piece of black. Um, plastic. Glass. Mine was plastic. And you look at it like a crystal ball. You use it like a crystal ball, but it's just black. And then things appear on it and stuff. So what I think this person's been doing is I think they've been doing something along the lines of that and staring at you and watching you through something, right? And they're using their intuition wrong. And this has to come out, right? This truth with this new fire, like that's, it's almost like that's you breaking free, right? Like that, that's just, that's a lot of power, okay? That suddenly goes up into the air, right and they get blown out like like they do they get and and then they have nothing to defend themselves with because once the truth comes out right once all this comes out they, they have nothing to say because they masked you this is an emergency when it's an emergency the truth comes out everybody's got to fucking say what happened right <clears throat> so this queen of pentacles gets kicked out of her throne right this one that grew this seed out of fucking masking you right <clears throat> this was a thief and this took a long time and this is double seven <clears throat> so i do feel like seven years 14 years could have been a cycle of this person just mirroring and watching everything you fucking do like really get a life like that's like a full-time job okay and it's done it's over the world is here you get to move this pentacle now in a different direction Okay, which is what you need. This is the world giving it back to you. Okay, and their intuition goes into the dumps. High priestess, high priest in reverse. I believe that that's both of their energies, right? Their male and their female energies. And they just go poof, all the way down. And this is something that needs to happen. This person needs to get killed because they're using their energy in a very, very bad way. Okay, and... Seven years, 14 years. Are you fucking kidding me? That's a long enough cycle for somebody to do their voodoo bullshit babble fucking crap to somebody they don't even like. Like, not allowed. Oh, I'm getting nauseous now. Whew. So, anyways, I'm going to shut this down. I hope it helps, Capricorn. Peace.